So um, those are my thoughts on that. And so getting to the last movie, let's jump into the last movie, which is Doolittle. Now, I don't know what's going on with uh, <laughs> with RDJ, Robert Downey Jr., you would think that coming off of Endgame and the MCU and everything else that he would want to try to do some movies that will put him back in the limelight and show his acting skills and do something totally different. And in a sense, he did, but this was not the movie to do it. Just about Dr. Doolittle, who um, wife had passed away. And so he ends up becoming a recluse and saying that this like animal sanctuary where he just plays around with the animals and everything else until the queen who gave him that sanctuary and as long as she's alive the sanctuary is protected but she's on getting close to dying and he has to try and find a cure to it and so in order for him to have still that sanctuary and they go on this big mission to find the cure to keep the queen alive and man this movie it seemed like it wanted to be more epic than what it was and it just was not that it really was not that um a lot of the jokes just fell flat and to me the accent of you know robert downey jr i really didn't mind it at all uh and I'm, it bothered some people but it didn't bother me uh, but when it comes to it, it is reminiscent of early 90s Disney films. Like, if you pluck this film and put it in the 90s, it literally will fit in. It would completely fit in. And it, it was just, I, I don't know, I guess if you like that, it's a good thing. But I don't know, it's like a good and bad thing, depending on how you look at it. And make no mistake, this movie is literally for kids. It is literally for kids. Um, I don't see any adults getting anything out of this movie. Even though I heard some adults laughing, I don't see any adults going like, this is a great movie. This is a movie meant for kids. The jokes and just everything that that's accompanied with it basically shows it. Uh, and like I said, it was a bad film for RDJ. Fresh straight out of Endgame. He should just go for more indie films that show his acting skill, his acting prowess, because I don't want to see him fail and show that he really needs the MCU and everything else. But with this movie, one of the aspects that just went against it was it was way over budgeted, way over budgeted. I think it was like over a hundred and something million. It was a crazy amount. Like it just didn't need to be that, you know, uh, and uh, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say because it was a flop and I can see why. I, I didn't hate it, but it wasn't a great film. It wasn't a great film, nor was it a good film. Nor was it a good film. Uh, but hit or miss, I give it a miss. It, it's a movie that, you know, if you have it at home and, you know, you want to put something on for your kids to watch, cool, whatever. But for family, I don't know. It's not that type of movie I would recommend, but hey, to each his own. If you like it, you like it.